Rain in. Overcast. Visibility is low. Wearing orange so I can stand out. Let's go get this mile done. I'd like to take this time to thank all my sponsors. You guys are amazing. Without you, there would be no me. Also, I'd like to thank all the worms that parted like the Red Sea as I passed through. I'd like to thank the organized <clears throat> organization leader that, that brought that about. George, you know who you are. Without your great skills, I would have been slip sliding on worm goo this entire run. That being said, I hope you guys all have a fantastic Friday. It's funny because people may think that Dakota and I wear orange on our walks outside and stuff for safety reasons, which that's super cool. But in all honesty, it's the only winter gear that we kept from moving from Wyoming. Like we just got rid of all of our winter stuff, literally. But we kept our hunting gear, our hunting jackets, just because like, you know, keep that sort of stuff for the most part. Anyway, so we don't usually wear it for safety, but it does, you know, highlight us as we're walking outside. And I do have to say that I did use it for safety today. I took off my dark green overcoat that I usually put on there so that I'd stand out. Hey look, it's my good old friend, them stairs. Anyway, safety first folks. Shine bright like a diamond. It is Friday and it's leg day. And we just hit five by five squats. My legs are toast. I'm feeling pretty gassed, pretty tired. Um, and, whew, shoot, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. Friday is probably one of my absolute favorite days. I don't know why it just it gives you good feelings inside also guys don't sit around looking for motivation or waiting for motivation to hit you you got to get up and you got to create discipline discipline is going to take you so much farther than motivation motivation is only going to get you halfway Discipline is going to take you that extra mile. I love you guys. Happy Friday. I'll see you later. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Yay! Hey, yeah, cool. Shirts. Sorry. Don't see me for shirts. You did because you fell down.
Promises made, promises kept. Let's go. Definitely easier to do that in the earlier morning. Don't have to dodge so many people and cars. But done. My run. My goodness. <sighs> Good. Oh, what's up guys? Gonna make this quick. Happy Saturday. Uh, today was my long run day. I forgot to take a before picture. Um, but who cares? <laughs> uh, Tom Carter helped me through like the first six miles. Um, without him, I probably couldn't have made it the full 18. Uh, so thank you, Tom. Thank you so much. Um, he also brought out an extra water for me and a couple extra additives for along the way. Um, huh. I stopped about every four miles uh, to get a drink of water and to refuel a little bit um it was a walking stop so no longer than 30 seconds um whew. wiped out now that's i'll have to add them together because on one of my stops i accidentally ended that was about 7.9 miles um and so then i had to start over and about 10.1. So I'll put all the times in one of the other slides, but I'm gonna head in, get my duffel bag, get some post workout, head on home, probably eat some more. All right, I've got my post workout and stuff. Tom Carter actually walked out right as I was getting ready to walk in, as I was talking on my story. And uh, whew, he about had to catch me from falling over. <laughs> I was kind of out of it. Um, maybe still a little bit out of it, but I'm excited to go home. I'm excited to relax a little bit. That is not an easy thing to do. I'll tell you though, right now. Um, and you know, I was gonna thank this stud over here walking. That's silly. <sighs> yeah. 
He was walking around the building on my last two laps, on my last mile. Man, just seeing him out there kept me going. So, thank you, Soli. Ugh. Sorry, I gave you a nose shot. All right, I'll leave you guys alone. I love you. Get out there, try to run 18 miles. It'd be good for you. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, maybe. Well, love, I made it. That kind of sucked. Um, headed home now. I love you. Do you think you could uh, like fill the bathtub full of cold water and some ice maybe? Might be nice to jump in that when I get home. I love you. Mwah. See you soon. Ten hundred plus ten hundred is twenty thousand. Is twenty. It's twenty hundred. What? My tongue is going everywhere. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, look at my eyes. Look. Oh my I'm not gosh. I'm Spider Man or Venom. So I'm just wearing this cool shirt. And then on the other side. Don't blame me. They're both Star Wars.
Just got done running a mile with this girl. Hi. Keeping our promises of a mile a day, right? That's right. That's right. March challenge. Hope you guys had a fantastic Sunday. Sundays are usually our days off. Yeah. Most of our days off, so we usually like to spend a little more time together, spend more time with the kids. Huh? Yeah. I hope you guys got out there today, got some movement in, ate some good food, and had some good family time. By the way, get some Patriot shirts. Yeah. They're badass. <laughs> Love you guys. We'll talk to you later. You got any words of wisdom for these guys? Um, push yourself, because that's the only way you know what you can do. That's true. <laughs> when you test your limits, you know what you're capable of and what you're not capable of, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it.